<laughs> Dear Diary, still no sign of that tampon from last week, but the headaches are getting worse. <gasps> Chris, what are you doing? Give me that! <laughs> Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. You idiot, this is your fault! My fault? You were the one chasing me! You were the one reading my diary! Is he breathing? It, it looks like it. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> Chris, I'm worried. Stewie's still unconscious. Maybe he's just sleeping. Is Stewie in here? Yeah, yes. Well, can you give him to me? It's time for his dinner. Oh, don't worry, Mom. We'll bring him down. Anything I can do to make your life a little easier. Are you, uh, running off to your job? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at my little cowboy. Come on, Stewie, up in your high chair. Boy, he must be starving. <laughs> yep, he's really chowing down. Hey, how's the food, Stewie? Oi, blimey, it's a right delicious. I do declare waka waka. Brian, have you decided who's going to star on your show? So it's got to be somebody who can project a certain amount of world wise and sophistication while at the same time retaining a certain youthfully passionate idealism. You know who'd be good? Big Jaws. Well, actually, in my mind, there's only one actor who could do this role. Elijah Wood. Oh, Eliza Wood. I got a little bit of a crush on him, I have. Oh, oh, look, Lois, wishbone. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes. I got five seconds. Ha. No gravity. Maybe we should take him to the hospital. I think the maggots have evolved to the point that they've developed space travel. Hey, hand me that scrub brush. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey, Dad. So, question. How long has Stewie been unconscious? Oh, my God, Chris, he knows. Dad, I'm so sorry. We should have told somebody, but we were too scared. And, 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 and I wanted to take him to the hospital, but Chris wouldn't let me. Good, Chris. I've taught you well. When you were babies, I used to knock you kids out every month or so. And sometimes when the Patriots lost. You just got to cover it up, and eventually it all works out. Meg, this is a list of hats. I need these by 4 o'clock. One of those hats would have helped him at the park today. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? <laughs> they look like little robbers. Come on, Peter. Come on, kids. The show's about to start. I'm coming. I was just getting Stewie. All right. Got the little guy up from his nap. Say hello to everyone, Stewie. Oh. Oh, 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 look, everybody, it's starting. So, uh, what'd you guys think? Not the worst thing in the world, right? Oh, ha, ha. Time for bed, Stewie. So, really, everybody, what, what'd you think? You want to know what I think? W well, yeah. You son of a bitch! Oh, it's a travesty! You will kill me! Guys, keep his anus above his head! Okay, careful, Peter. Oh, boy. All right, he's not waking up. I think we gotta take these bandages off and see what we're dealing with here. Oh, crap. You smell that? That's brain smell. Okay, I don't care what you say. He's really hurt, and I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place. I'm taking him to the hospital. No, no. I got one last plan, Meg. Oh, my God! Stewie! Oh, God, what have I done? Looks like you ran over him, Lois. Oh, no! He's unconscious. Peter, Peter, we have to cover this up. Yeah, but... What? Let's put a hat on him to cover the wound, and, and then let's get some makeup and draw eyeballs on his eyelids and find a way to pin this on someone else. I love you so much right now. Let's go to the hospital. <laughs>